I was the champion beef showman at the Canyon County Fair. Tracy uh, was the champion sheep showman. Uh, we were 11 and 12. So we needed to learn how to show all the other animals. So our moms happened to know each other and they hooked us up. Uh, only thinking at the time that they were getting us together to learn how to show each other's animals. It was just fun how <laughs> we introduced them and they got together, hit it off, and wow, okay. And then we saw each other at the Boise Fair. And then from there, we just would see each other at FFA events and other 4-H events. We were state officers together in FFA and best friends throughout that entire time. And now we're married and have six kids. I guess I learned the importance of agriculture from a very young age, from my grandpa. I used to carry Tracy around on my shoulder out getting the cows in in the morning, you know. I don't do it anymore, but I used to. Just that love of agriculture was just so important that then when our children were born, that's just something that we knew that they had to be a part of. Everything that I have done with 4-H and FFA has led me to where I'm at as far as contacts that I've made to uh, the experiences that I've had and understanding ag and understanding its role in not only our community and our valley here in Idaho, but in the whole United States and, and really globally. The biggest thing that we see is how important 4-H uh, and FFA are for your career and for your family. Now we try to give back as absolutely as much as we can to support the program, obviously have our kids involved, but beyond that, uh, we know that our future employees, our uh, future farm managers and production managers and marketing assistants, they're all, they're all gonna come from those 4-H and FFA students right now. Agriculture is our life. It just is our life. Everything that we live for basically has to do with agriculture. It's so important that our children know that without agriculture, we would not have anything. Our kids know that agriculture is how they eat and how they're clothed and they know that it's how we have the roof that we have, it's how they have the opportunities that they have. Everything that we do is connected to agriculture. Canyon County is very unique in how diverse and wide spread our agricultural roots are here. Most people know and associate Idaho with potatoes, but Idaho is the largest onion growing area in the United States. They're getting to know more and more uh, about you know, how important agriculture and the things that we do here in Idaho are on a national level. There's just great opportunity here. Obviously, we have uh, the infrastructure in place. Obviously, we have the farmland available to us. Uh, technology's played a huge role. I mean, our tractors now have GPS systems. We have automatic palletizers and, and automatic baggers and automatic weighers, and so we're just getting way more advanced. We're going to see the importance of agriculture here in the valley continue to get greater and greater. That's why so many businesses have their headquarters right here in Canyon County, is because there's so much opportunity. Well, right now there's never been a more important and never been a greater need for us to tell our story. And we need a facility where we can do that in. We need to tell our story about the roots of this valley, about the, the agricultural heritage that we have. And we need a place where we can tell our story about what the future is. And even if you're not gonna be involved in agriculture, we need to develop future leaders. So the importance of that facility in helping to educate and, and train and prepare our youth for the future is huge. We are currently on a facility that we share now with four different users, Caldwell Night Rodeo, the College of Idaho, and the City of Caldwell. We have a very small portion which is disjointed. We have a building on one end and we have some ground on the other end and everything else in between. We're limiting our interim events as well as our own event by just not having space for them to expand or having to turn them away. We've shown about a 3% increase in kids every year and with that comes more animals. We're looking for more pens, we're moving goats out into the beef barn, and as those numbers continue to grow, we're just simply out of room. It's no different than our school districts. When we outgrow a facility, we build a new one so that we can give our kids the greatest opportunity that they can have in an educational setting. That's how we need to look at this expansion. This is a great opportunity for us to continue to allow more kids to have this opportunity and more families to be able to come and partake of the experience of the fair. The new site, 
is 80 acres, and we have a fantastic master plan that was done by Fairgrounds Master Planners. And we'll have multiple facilities that can be used for dog shows, RV shows, different outdoor events, and different livestock shows, which enhances the education for our youth. Just the expanse of the facilities allows us to reach our goal, which is self-sustainability. This is a real great opportunity for us to expose our valley with a great new facility and to encourage and to continue to build upon the roots that we have here. The, the future of agriculture is bright and the economic benefits for uh, our county uh, is, it could be endless.